I was interested in, I think, like general like physics, and there were some projects that I had done um, that kind of involved uh, building that I enjoyed like throughout high school. I had known about Notre Dame, you know, growing up and stuff because of my dad, but I had looked at a lot of different uh, universities, and I don't know, I really enjoyed uh, both the fact that it was a Catholic university and that I think kind of the overall ability to implement things in like a good like moral foundation and stuff that you would learn from Notre Dame. And I knew that they had a wonderful engineering program that would teach me how to kind of take, uh, take what I learned and solve real world problems. While I was here, I was part of uh, SWE, Society for Women Engineers, and I also did the um, Concrete Canoe Project um, for uh, ASCE. And um, I did Habitat for Humanity on the side. My first job out of school was uh, working for Clark Construction in Southern California on the Long Beach Court Building. Um, it was the first uh, public-private partnership for like a social infrastructure project in the United States. Um, what I learned on that job was that like each each project that our construction company has like un operates like its own unique business. And so this particular project we were on was high risk and high reward. And so learning like what the larger impact of the job and its you know, financial success or um, challenges we're going to have on the company really helped us to focus on certain um, design decisions that we would make. Rather than just becoming like LEED certified in platinum or silver or gold, uh, really analyzed like, the life cycle costs of what the uh, building's life cycle was going to be over 35 years and then we invested in the building up front. And so that was one of, I think, the most exciting things that I was able to do in construction kind of right out of the gate um, from school. And so now I kind of keep trying to apply that as I keep going through in my career that I saw that very successful and really seemed to be a sustainable way to build. And I keep trying to want to go back to that. I'm currently finishing up the Salesforce Tower Project, which is the tallest building in San Francisco. And it's the tallest office building west of the Mississippi. Um, it's a thousand foot structure in downtown um, San Francisco. That has been an extremely challenging uh, job. I've learned a lot while I've been there. Um, I've had the experience of being able to be a project manager on the job overseeing um, the actual scopes of work that are uh, being designed and implemented and then I've also been able to be a superintendent in the field and supervise the work going in. Um, so that's been a, like a huge learning experience. I've also had opportunities to just go work at uh, volunteer at the school that's adjacent to the job site that we're building. Have a more positive relationship with our neighbors because as we're when we come in and build a job you're naturally impacting anybody that's around you whether it's just traffic or noise and all that kind of stuff but to have a more positive dialogue with them um, and be able to have a positive impact on their community as opposed to um, just a negative one I think that's exciting so uh, we were able to do that through service with some of the kids and you know rebuilding a soup kitchen in a, in the neighborhood right adjacent to uh, one of our projects. So I currently run a charity golf tournament with a small team of people in Northern California that's raised about $500,000 over the past three years for um, local charities such as the Boys and Girls Club of San Francisco. The idea of you know service and philanthropy was definitely fostered at Notre Dame. It's another you know factor of responsible building um, to kind of understand the impact that you're having on on the area, and then. Um, there's definitely, I think, I think we have an obligation to try to build sustainably um, all the time. And I think, you know, LEED and the U.S. Um, Green Building Council do make make efforts in varieties of ways. If you think about it, you should be building uh, with, you know, good materials that are going to sustain, um, that are you know are good for the environment, uh, good for the people that are going to be occupying the spaces, and that over time are going to. Uh, work for the life cycle of the building. Anyone who's graduating and starting the first job, whether you think that you found the like the perfect fit of the you know first job out of school or not, just go ahead and try to find a mentor within that company um, because I think you can try to see what the future might look like. You might have your own ideas of you know probably from interview questions where you're going to be in five years, where do you see yourself in ten years? But those people might really help to kind of put those puzzle pieces together for you. Um, I think that's great. And then I always, um, I like to, as, as a younger um, employee within the company, I always ask kind of why or how what I'm doing impacts the larger kind of piece of the puzzle. Um, and that always helps me to kind of have purpose in what I'm doing.